Hello everyone and welcome to my Nerd Cave. In this tutorial today, we are going to connect this 5-pin joystick to the Raspberry Pi Pico and program it in MicroPython. We will do a simple project to use the joystick to turn on these LEDs based on the joystick's location. If you find these tutorials helpful, subscribe to my channel and if you have any questions, just leave a comment down below. There are many reasons to use a joystick in your projects. For example, creating a remote to navigate a robot or using it for navigation for an interface with an LCD. This joystick module is easy to set up and code. An analog thumbstick joystick is effectively three devices in one. A potentiometer for a X axis, a potentiometer for a Y axis and a digital momentary button when you press down. So how this work is that when we apply 3.3 volt to both potentiometers, read the voltage value through the onboard analog to digital converter and set the position of the joystick based on the value we read for the X and Y potentiometer. Here are all the things you will need for this tutorial. A Raspberry Pi Pico with pin soldered, analog thumb joystick, this one in the video is a 5 pin interface, but different models are available like this one over here with 9 pins that have a separate power and ground line for the two potentiometers and button. Breadboard, which is optional, but for our demonstration purpose, we will connect the joystick to the Pico with jumper wires to set it up and do a few simple tests. LEDs, and then any resistor values between 330 ohm to 1 kilo ohm. And then finally, you will need jumper wires. If you have not programmed your Pico before, watch this video here to show you how to set up your Pico and get started with MicroPython. Let's look at the wiring of the joystick to the Pico. I have connected the joystick pin as seen in the schematic for this tutorial. We will first look at a very basic example. The Raspberry Pi Pico pins are shown in a table and the physical pin in the first column and the second column shows the pins of the joystick. The code for this example is available on my GitHub, which you can find in the description down below. Open the file, copy all the code, and then go to Fony, create a new file and paste the code. First, we import the necessary modules from our machine library, which is the pin module and our ADC. We will use the U time sleep function to set up a delay into our loop, which we will read the button state. We then create our X axis and Y axis variables and assign them to a general purpose pin 26 and 27 and assign it to the ADC object. We then create a button variable and assign it to the pin object. We are using pin 17 and the mode, which is in our case an input. And finally, we make the mode pull up since we pull our button up to high and check for a value when it goes to zero or to ground. Now create a continuous loop that checks and prints the X and Y and button values. Here we create two variables, X value and Y value. And we set it equal to the X axis and Y axis and read the ADC value with the read u16 function. We then create a variable button value to read the value of the button to see when a button state change from high to low. A variable button status to set the current status of the button, which will be not pressed. We can then create an if condition to check if the button value changes from high to low, and then we can change the button status to be pressed. Now, let's print all the values we are reading to our shell and create a short delay to read the values easier. Running this code, you'll see that if we do not press or move the joystick, the X and Y values will be around 32 to 33,000 and the button will be 1. Moving the joystick to the left, the values will be in a range of 300 to 500 and to the right, it will be around 65,000. Pushing the joystick up give us a range of 300 to 500 and pushing it down will give us values around 65,000. When we press the button down and hold it down, the value will be zero. Using this information, we can use an if statement to know our joystick status and button status. To illustrate this better, I have made this circuit here with five LEDs to indicate the position of the joystick. Here is the schematic of this circuit. In my GitHub repository, copy the code from joystick basic, open a new file in Fony and paste the code. In this block of code, we create our LEDs, which will be used to indicate the status of our joystick if it is in the middle, left, right, up or down. Now, we know the values of the joystick if it is not pushed, 
will be roughly around 32 to 33,000 for X and Y. So we will just call the X status and Y status to be in the middle. Here we set the value for all the LEDs to zero, except for the middle LED since that is our joystick's default state. If the button is pressed on the joystick, we will make the LED to turn off by setting its value to zero. Now, we know moving the joystick to the right gives a value in a range of 65,000. So, we can say that if our X value is greater or equal to 60,000, set the X status to right and turn on the right LED and set the middle D value to zero, turning it off. We can do this for all the other directions by using the values of our first test of the joystick to set the status of left, up, and down. Now, running this code, we see our middle LED is on, and if we press the joystick in any direction, the corresponding LED will turn on, and a button press will turn off the middle LED. I hope you found this tutorial helpful. If you want to see more tutorials like this and support this channel, hit that subscribe button, and I will see you in the next video.